What? is the ledge from the other side. This is the side you're going to push it in on, by the way, not not the inside. So on this side, you can see the ledge better. It's got to fit on that ledge. On this side, it's harder to see. Okay, so that shouldn't be too hard, right? You stick this on your piece of glass. You trace around the inside. And then somehow you trim away a little of around that, right? So if you're a glass cutter and you can cut a circle, you're done. But I'm not a glass cutter. I got about 15 pieces out of that strip of glass I showed you. And this is, the best I could do was square it up. You know, I cut square pieces. And then I tried to get rid of the corners a little bit. And here's how I did that. I won't, won't recommend doing it this way. Maybe you can, but I don't know if it's one of the prescribed methods. So we're not going to recommend it. But what I did was turn on the grinder. Don't have to be perfect as long as it will drop in and set in there now as you can see this one I haven't gotten to yet I haven't <coughs> when I cut that strip out I cut out and I roughly did one to size and all the rest to close and the reason was because I didn't know how many I would actually need. When you're buying those UV um, lenses and you're in the kind of atmosphere where sparks are flying or hot metals flying, you need one like once a week because it will melt the coating on the surface and it'll, it'll just feel like it's embedded in the glass. It's done. All right, but this stuff is not coated. There's no coating on this glass. It's just pure glass. It will never end up in that shape. So I spent $12 on a UV filter. And I spent $8 on that big chunk of glass. And out of that big chunk of glass, I could probably get 60 lenses, you do the math. We're going to put the good one back in and I'll show you what it, you see how it fits? It's, it's not, it's not going to, um, you know, hug, hug the inside surface all the way around. 
I don't care. It doesn't have to. All right, so what I'm going to do is I removed the, the putty, and you can see the ledge down there. I think in the past I just set it on the ledge and then put the putty on over top of it. Which one was it? This one might, this one might not be the cut one. No, it's not. Here's the cut one. Is that it? No. This is the cut one. Uh, it's getting hung up on the threads. There you go. All right. <clears throat> well, let's see how to do this. It is sitting on the ledge. And it's pretty much the full thickness of this piece right here. Which is a lot thicker than the UV lens you buy for 12 to $20. What a waste. Anyway, we're going to pack the putty around it and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Okay. We're back. We're packed. And man, this stuff does not work in the cold. This is what I ended up with extra after removing it from a working unit that has been working for about a year. It just won't, it won't, it's not pliable. <laughs> um, I think that, I don't know, Blue Tech might be a little better. I don't know. And you might look janky, and you could always unjank it a little bit. Maybe if it was warmer, I could put it in a different way. But it doesn't matter. That is not going to affect your your uh, your camera view. It's like it's like if if all the way around. Oh, I can't even show you that. That's weird. Um, but you're actually not going to see that at all through your camera but it does at least cover any gaps because well if you're like me you can't really do too well cutting a circle in glass <laughs> um i never really tried but since this worked i didn't go any further maybe a, a, a carbide hole saw would be really good i don't know but at any rate that is how you never buy another uh, UV filter, highly overpriced UV filter again in your life. You just make your own. Only it's not a UV filter. It doesn't need to be a UV filter. It, people just buy them because, well, they're 12 bucks or they're 20 bucks. I need something to protect my main lens. Make this your main lens and you won't ever have to worry about that. And nothing will stick to it. As you can see, it doesn't affect the focus of this whatsoever. Yeah. Stop spending money on that junk. Look, it's so cold that that indentation from holding that in my finger is still there. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. <clears throat> That's all I wanted to show. Okay. I think we're done. I'm cold. And I got to get back to my house. Work, work, work. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. And share this video for more.